in the dawn of a new century, despite a world still on the brink of war, there was beauty, as always. There was love, as always. In the dawn of this new century, as the earth tilted forwards to the year 1904, a mother gave birth to a piece of art. Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali y Dominic, born to walk in his brother's footsteps. Only Dali himself knew he was unique. Boldly stating, I am surrealism. Dali's obvious tendency was to create or to arrange. His intention, perhaps, to derange the rules of the game. He was not brought into this world to complete an unfinished symphony, but rather to spoil the history of art. At just 13 years old, Dali presented his first art in the family home. Dali always loved the fame. Moving to Madrid, aged 18, he met like-minded, renowned game-changers, Federico Garcia Lorca and Louis Bunel. The defining moment in Dali's story came when he met his first, last and biggest love of all, Gala. The forbidden fruit, the most sacred color the greatest inspiration, the toughest challenge. Gala was the mystery of Dali myth. Their love was laid bare when Carles Fages de Clement stepped into their world. The triumph and the couplet of Gala and Dali was a piece of work beyond the disciplines of art. 43 couplets from Fages, 43 frames from Dali, a summary of Dali myth. The world was Dali's playground, his dreams, his best toys. In presenting his works to us, Dali shared his inner thoughts, dreams and imaginations, allowing us to experience his world from within. As you stand and feel the earth tilting, think of your own story. What legend would you choose to live on when time stops? <laughs>